In this video, I am going to tell you how to recover a dead LiPo battery that refuses to take a charge. Either your little charger is just flashing red or your nice charger says LiPo cell error or low voltage error. And with respect to your time, in part one, I'm going to show you just a quick and dirty way how to jumpstart this battery. On part two, I'm going to show you some safeguards, some reassurances, uh, you know, some, some balancing to make sure you're doing this safely. Part three, I'm going to show you, I'm going to explain to you why this happened. You know, you, want, you don't want this to keep happening to you. And in part four, I'm going to tell you when to give up and throw these things away. Now let's start the process of quick recovery. First, by plugging in the battery and demonstrating the problem situation. As we plug it in, you see the voltage is not quite right. And when we press start, it says abnormal battery connection. Or sometimes it says voltage too low. So the fix really is to wake up this battery. And to wake it up, we are going to charge it another way as a NIM or nickel metahydride and we have to unplug the balance port because that's an indicator to the charger that it's a LiPo battery and then we select NIM battery as the charge type and then we normally charge this at 1C so whatever the size of your battery charge it at that rate and then have at it press start and as you can see now the battery is charging it's taking on a charge and really observe the voltage. This process should take 30 seconds to one minute normally because all we're doing is we're waking up the battery to a level that can be charged and that is three volts per cell. So if it's a two cell, you want to get to six volts. If it's a three cell, you want to get to nine volts. Once you hit that voltage, it should only take a few seconds, then you can stop this process of waking up and go through a normal lipo charge and to go through that you charge you put plug in the balance port you put it back to lipo battery type just as you normally would and start the charge and this is a critical part of the process you should be attentive and get to this stage as soon as you can and when you press start, it should start normally. And what's really cool about this is now you can see the voltage of each cell. And this is really the, the critical part. Not all batteries can be saved. If you have a dead cell, you will see one battery just lag behind or just stay at zero. But as you can see here, the battery cells caught up with each other close to three volts. So now what you wanna do is just charge it normally and charge it to fully charge because that actually balances the cells perfectly and what you should end up with is a fully balanced battery with 4.2 volts per cell and now you've recovered your investment it may be a ten dollar battery it may be a one hundred dollar battery so this is a worthwhile endeavor so there you go battery saved but next part is we're going to show you how to do this safely with more visibility into the cells okay that was the quick and dirty way now we're going to do another method that is safer this requires some extra equipment but what you need is a cell checker or a second charger uh, to have visibility into the cells so first we're going to demonstrate the problem again as you can see here we have a different battery but similar problem one cell is zero and the other cell is very low so it will, will not charge so what we do is we charge it as NIM just as we did earlier but the key difference here is we are gonna put the balance port into another charger so you can either put it into another charger or another port on your dual charger or you can put it to a cell checker all we want to do is see what's going on 
in the cells while we are doing this jump starting of the battery. So in this case, I'm using a, another charger and the other charger doesn't know, you know, it just looks at a balance board. It says, okay, I'll give you some information. And now you can see as we're charging, you're seeing the two cells exactly what they're doing. One, one cell is at two volts and the other one is at three. And now we have a lot more visibility. Uh, we, we want both of them to charge to 4.2 volts. We want the lower cell to catch up to the second cell. If this does not happen, then you cannot save the battery. It means you have one cell that's damaged or dead. In part three of this video, we want to discuss why this happened so you can avoid it in the future. What's going on is most chargers will refuse to charge a perfectly good battery if the voltage drops below three volts per cell. And this is for safety reasons and more associated with older chargers. Now, why did the voltage drop below three volts per cell? The most common reason is because the user forgot to unplug the car battery or left it on. Even though there is LiPo cutoff, the ESC continues to drain the battery as long as it is plugged in and turned on. The second reason is because the user did not put the battery in storage mode of 3.7 volts per cell and did not use the battery for a long time. These batteries lose voltage every month and after a while it'll drop below 3 volts per cell. And the last reason is it's just a low quality battery. All right, the last part of this video is how do you know when to give up when the cell is, when the battery is dead, when you should throw the battery away. The first giveaway is when the battery is very puffy. If the sheath is punctured, it will catch on fire. The next is when the plugs are corroded or compromised. Maybe some squirrels chewed at it. Maybe it is just corroded and not giving a complete connection, then it's bad. And the third giveaway is when you have a battery, you try to wake it up, jumpstart it, but one cell refuses to wake up. It just keeps going back to zero or it keeps fluctuating. Then one cell is dead. To dispose of a battery properly, you should fully discharge it and bring it to a recycling center. So there you go. We hope you enjoyed this video and it has helped you out and saved you money. Make sure you subscribe to RC Review and fully enjoy the hobby.